Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. Last video we were discussing instruction set. We have completed arithmetic instructions and uh, then we were doing uh, your logical instructions, right? That and, or, and jaw we have seen. And is basically used for what? And is used for whenever we want to reset a particular position, beat position. And is, or is used for when we want to make it one a particular position bit value we want to make it one and jaw is used whenever we want to make all the bits of a particular content as zero right that examples we have seen then we are discussing set c then set c is used for what uh, making the carry flag value equal to one already we know that uh, whenever we do some instruction whenever we execute some instruction that may impact our carry flag so carry flag value will be one that is there but without doing anything i want to make my carry flag as one then we can use this set c then next is clear c we want to reset the carry flag then cf equal to zero and form c will be for complementing the carry flag if it was initially zero we'll make it one if it was one it will be made to zero complement then the next one is uh, ei and di this these are two very important instructions ei and di these are related with the con uh, to the concept of interrupt so what is interrupt first let me introduce then i'll explain these flags right so what is interrupt processor is suppose executing some instruction right it is executing some instruction at location i right that time one outside entity comes and is asking some uh, operations to be performed by the processor then that is termed as an interrupt to the processor the way suppose right now you are watching this video that time your calling bell is ringing right then what you have to do if whatever suppose current content you are doing one particular example you are doing first you will complete that then you will pause your video then you will see who is at the door you will do whatever is requested suppose you are receiving one parcel you will take the parcel, you do the signature, and then again you come back and you resume your watching of this video. So where you will resume? Wherever you have left, right? So from that position, again you resume. So this, whenever I, you were watching this video, that time the bell was ringing. That bell ringing is nothing but an indication of an attention uh, from you, right? And that is disturbing your, whatever you are doing presently. So because of that, the name of that calling bell ringing is, is nothing but interrupt. This I have told you in our layman's example. But in case of processor, suppose processor is doing something. It is executing instruction located at I. Suppose this instruction is add R1, comma, uh, R1 comma A, right? It was doing. So, and already we know this instruction has to be brought from the memory. So fetch we have done we have done decode. Suppose we were bringing the content of memory location A into the CPU, right? That time only someone is asking processor to do something. That bell is ringing, right? So that bell ringing is in our layman's example. But in processor, there is one signal. If someone is uh, asking some service by the processor, for that one signal is there to the processor. That is INTR. INTR full form is interrupt request. So it is an incoming signal to the processor. Processor will see that this value is zero. It is an active low signal. Active low meaning is whenever the logic level is low, that time the signal is active. So whenever there is a signal, I means uh, INTR signal is active, processor will see that. But what processor will do? First processor will completely execute this instruction. What does it mean? It will fetch the operand from memory location A it will execute the instruction. It will write the result back into the memory location A. Once everything is done, that time what is the value of PC? It, is, it will be the address of the next instruction in sequence. It is I plus 1 or you say I plus 4 depending on the length of the instruction. That particular one I need to save because after this instruction is executed, you are going to do something that is asked by this particular signal. You means the processor. So this I plus one, we need to save somewhere. Save, S-A-V, I need to store it somewhere. So that somewhere is on the stack 
it will be automatically saved you and me will not execute instruction as part of that processor will do whenever it will see this this return address of my instruction will be stored in the on the stack after that processor will uh, processor will do whatever is requested by this signal so whatever it will do will be nothing but a set of instruction only because whenever someone is suppose one device is giving a interrupt signal that means the device is ready with the data so you should take the data from the device buffer into your processor registers or wherever you need to transfer so that part processor will do so to do that uh, it will be executing some other set of instruction so your instruction sequence will be disturbed that time so this i plus 1 will be saved somewhere and then processor will execute whatever is requested that is called as interrupt service routine in response to an interrupt processor will execute interrupt service routine that is nothing but the set of instructions that comprises the service requested by that interrupt signal so it will execute that set of instruction after completing it it will come back to where i plus 1 how it can come back it will pop this address from the stack into the well into the register pc then pc will continue executing from this particular sequence why i am telling you all why this uh, description is coming into picture is because next we are going to see one flag interrupt flag you know carry flag zero flag sign flag overflow flag you know like that in your processor status register one of the bit is occupying your interrupt flag one position is indicating interrupt flag if the value of this flag is zero is zero then there is no impact of int uh, there is no impact of intr line putting a request to the processor processor will simply ignore the request though the signal is active processor is not going to honor the request because interrupt process is disabled by the processor already let's say you are doing some important work right and you cannot stop in between so whosoever comes you are not going to open the door right so that is that uh, you have disabled the interrupt process and how can you do that by making this interrupt flag value equal to 0 this flag value indicates whether the interrupt is enabled or not and if the value is 1 only when the value is 1 then only processor is going to recognize a request coming on this line intr and then only it will do the interrupt service routine for the this particular request is coming so hope this part is clear why i am talking about intr isr and then all the details i have mentioned only because to make you understand the concept of interrupt flag so now I'll come to this interrupt flag. So I said now whenever interrupt flag value equal to one, then only request will be honored. So suppose I know that someone may come, right? So I want to enable that interrupt process, right? So it is used to set the interrupt flag, EI. EI stands for enable interrupt. Whenever enable interrupt instruction is executed, it is equivalent to making interrupt flag value equal to one. And making interrupt flag value equal to 1, meaning is we are, means actually activate, means the request on this line is going to be honored by the processor, right? This request is going to be honored. So, if equal to 1, and what is the impact is clear? Another situation is that I am doing some important work and I don't want to be disturbed by anyone, right? That time, I'll close the door and whatever is happening, I'm not going to, means I'm not going to look at others, right? So first at this, uh, okay. First I'll complete this. INTR is an interrupt request signal to the processor. When IF equal to one, then only processor recognizes the interrupt request and responds to it. Else ignores the request coming on INTR line, right? DI is used to, DI is not used to set, it is used to reset. It is used to reset the value of interrupt flag, not set, it is reset. So what it does, it makes IF flag, IF flag value equal to zero. So IF flag value zero indication is that interrupt process is disabled. And this disabling another name, another synonym is mas masking, right? So the interrupt 
request is masked right or we can say the process is masking means we have disabled the interrupt request means though the request is coming we are not going to look at it we are not going to honor to it when that will happen whenever the if left value equal to zero right so i if equal to zero then the processor ignores the interrupt request di instruction is used to disable masking means disable the intr signal hope these two lines are clear sorry hope these two interrupt flags are clear e if flag is only one if the value can be one or zero if it is one then only intr line if some request is coming on that line we are going to honor to it we means the processor and if the value is zero then processor is going to ignore the request in that sense it is said that intr is a maskable interrupt that means i can enable disable both it is not that key always i will honor or always i will not honor nothing like that based on the value of if flag we are going to do either of the one right so in this video uh, i'll be discussing till this one and in my next video we are going to start with rotate and shift instructions till then thank you and if you are getting from my explanations then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you